Hi guys, welcome to my first Halloween um, makeup tutorial. I'm going to be doing a witch. Um, I wanted to paint my face green, so um, what I have here are the Kralin um, aqua colors. So these are super cool. You can use them. Um, they, they come like dry. I don't know if you can really see. They're kind of dry in here. Um, so what I like to do is kind of mix a little bit of water. So um, I'm just going to take my beauty applicator. I think I got this at um, Ulta or Sephora or something. But just dip it in the water. And then you dip it right into, okay, see, right into here. And just dab, dab, dab. And then you start applying. Okay, so after you're mostly green with the aqua color, um, I like to take a um, translucent powder. So you can use whatever. I like um, the NYX mineral powder. I think I, um, I don't know where you get this. <laughs> I always use this one for like a setting powder, um, anything like that. So what I did was I took the powder and um, put some of into a little like Tupperware container. Um, and then to make the pigment green, I, um, took eyeshadow, I have this eyeshadow palette, um, and I have every color in the rainbow, but I use the, uh, light green and a dark green, and I took a spoolie brush and just kind of scraped it into the Tupperware container that already has the translucent powder in it. Okay, so you're going to want to go ahead and mix that all up. I just like to kind of set the green in with um, like a big kabuki, so just dab it and then I want to just press it into the skin. And then this is also going to kind of blend um, the green aqua color that's on already. Okay, now that you're all set in green, um, I'm gonna, we're gonna do the contour. So what I'm using here is um, Bare Minerals, they're um, black, um, what's it called? They're Muse, it's like a, it's like a purplish black, it's really pretty. Um, it's an eyeshadow, so um, just go ahead and dump some out. I like to have a little palette when I'm working too. Um, so I'm going to use an angled brush and just do my contour on my cheeks. Um, this is a Cricut brush. I can't remember the number of it. I use it all the time. I've had it forever. Amazing. Um, so yeah. So I like to go, when I'm doing my contour, from um, the middle of my face right here up like this into my cheekbone. So I go like that to kind of look. So right there will be my starting point and I'll go up from there. So go ahead and tap your brush in and then kind of go like this. Tap it off and then... Dab, dab, dab. You like to place the product in and then blend like this. And then I always buff it after I place it. Just, I know a lot of people just like to place it and then go ahead and worry about blending at the end, but I like to do it as I go. I don't know. Everybody's different. That's what I do when I do normal makeup too. <laughs> That's just my witch makeup. So, yeah. So then I'm also going to do up here. Um, I'm going to be wearing a witch's hat, so you're not really going to be able to tell. But um, just in case I do take it off, 
Um, I want to contour the nose just to make it look more of like a witch nose, like a pointing at my nose is kind of short. So I want like a longer appearing nose. So I'm going to start up from the eyebrow and follow it down like that. So I'm Another good thing to do is um, down here to do your jawline, and of course I'm going to paint the rest of my um, my neck and my arms. I'm wearing a dress, it's a short sleeve dress, but I'm going to do everything just so it's nice and even. Um, yeah, so what you're going to want to do is same thing on your neck. I say do it once you're filled in um, green everywhere if that's what you're choosing to do. Um, take that back again and go along your jawline just ever so faintly. The other thing you could do, um, my collar kind of goes up high so I'm not even going to do it, but um, define the collarbones. So what you would do after your green is just take this color, the black, um, and go right on the collarbone right here and fill that in and then go right above the collarbone right here and line here same with the other side and then when you push in like this that's a good way to kind of see where you're going so here 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 and then right here mine's not very defined naturally and defined right there so that's something fun too that you can always um, define if you want, but my dress will be covering it, so no thanks. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of blend this a little bit. Now that you're all um, contoured, I'm going to say let's go ahead and highlight. So um, I love the Bare Minerals. Um, these little pods, I don't know what they call them, <laughs> but I have a million of them, um, every color. So um, I'm gonna go ahead now and use their um, yellow. So I'm gonna use the yellow as a highlight. Um, I just think that'll look pretty. Um, you could use blue, um, but I think I'm gonna use blue as a blush. Um, so just go ahead and Kind of fill in the spaces where you um, still have the green outside of where you contoured. Okay, now that you're all highlighted, um, I'm going to go back in and we're going to um, do our eyeballs. So, um, I like to start with dark. I'm just going to do kind of a smoky eye. So, um, I'm just going to go in with the same color I did on my, um, contour. Um, I'm going to do as my all over color on the eye. Okay, now I'm going to go in with, um, a purple and do the smoky eye um, over here. I have feathers on my witch's hat, so um, they're, they have a little bit of purple in them, so I thought that would be fun. So um, it's another pod. Where did, where's the cap? Sorry. Another pod. Uh, this is their purple. So um, if you've never worked with the Bare Minerals, their um, loose powder, um, I definitely recommend it. They're super easy to work with. And because they're so pigmented, they'll last you for a super long time. So that's always good. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go on the outer side with the same brush I used to put that color and um, to put the dark color and just place it up like that. So um, I, I just finished my purple, and then I went ahead and did some blue in there, too. Um, I just went around um, 
my eyelid, um, right, um, my eyelashes, <laughs> sorry, I just went about there and I just kind of blended it up and I used, uh, just a smaller brush, um, just a tiny one, the same one that I used on my nose. So I did like, kind of like a turquoise. I thought it was, the purple was getting a little too, uh, green. <laughs> so I, uh, put a little more vibrant of a color in there. So the next thing you're going to want to do is, um, use like a white or something along those lines to kind of highlight the um, upper brow uh, bone right here. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to... So, um, after you highlight, you're going to want to go in with your, a black liner and um, just kind of line the eyes um, above and below. We have to get done before the trick or treaters come in a few minutes. <laughs> And make sure when you're doing your lip liner always that you're just leaving like a neutral lip because if you pull your skin like tight to your liner when you put your lips naturally it's not going to be where it needs to be okay um I'm actually gonna, I changed my mind. I am gonna make this purple. And kind of match my eye right here. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, you can go ahead now and put on a little mascara or um, finish up your lips with whatever color you're choosing and um, you're a witch, so. Um, I'll put some finished products on once I um, finish product pictures on when I uh, get dressed and have my witch hat on. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Thank you.